starring June Lockhart, Hugh Riley, John Provost as Timmy, and, of course, Lassie. Champion Irish setter. Champion Shannon of Kilkenny. Kilkenny? Well, that's a county in Ireland. Do you think he came all the way from Ireland? Could be. Gosh. I assure you, ladies and gentlemen, award dog food is more than just a supplement. It's a complete meal in itself. Now, Champion Shannon of Kilkenny's fine condition is a testimony to that fact. He's fed exclusively on our Award dog food, ladies and gentlemen. That's the reason. Isn't that a beautiful animal? <coughs> Champion Shannon of Kilkenny. Stick. Stand, boy. Stand. Stand. Stand, boy. Come on. Come on. Stand. Stay. There you are, folks. Every inch a champion. Now, if you'd like a trial package for your dog, they're absolutely free. May I get a free, free sample for no, Lassie, Dad? All right, Timmy, but come right back. We're going to have a lot to carry. Okay. And if anyone would like a photograph of Shannon, they're here for the asking. Here for the asking. Just step up, folks. Now, don't be bashful there. There you are, young fellow. May I have a picture, too? You certainly may. Just help yourself there. Thanks. Stand, boy. Come on, now. Stand, Shannon. Come on, now. And stay. Hit up. That's the boy. Sorry, mister. We didn't mean to cause trouble. That's all right. Show dog of Shannon's experience should know enough not to break position like that. Now stay, boy. Boy, he's just like a statue. My dear young man, that takes years of training. Now, please, please. Sonny, run along like a good boy. Come on, Lassie. All right, now stay. Stay. Lassie. You only get one before dinner. Here. Stand, boy. Come on. Come on. Come on. Stand. Now, head up. Lassie, you better take this outside. You're only causing him trouble. Wait for us in the pickup. Go on, girl. Shannon. I don't think his trainer liked it. He's awfully strict. I guess he has to be. They're yours for the asking. Shannon! Shannon! Here, Shannon. Here, boy. Shannon! Here, boy. Shannon! Keep your dog out of this. She was the one who started it all in the first place. Now, look down here. Here, Shannon. Here, boy. Here, Shannon. Lassie, you didn't see where that show dog went, did you? Have they found him yet? No. He just sort of disappeared. But I sure hope they do find him. He must be valuable. Uh-huh. Well, we better get started back. We got work to do. Come on.
Hi, you two. Did you get everything? Mom, you should see what we saw. Well, just a minute, dear. Did they have that new clothesline I wanted? Oh, good. Mom, we saw this neat dog. His name was Champion Shannon of Kilkenny. He was an Irish setter. Really? Well, you'll have to tell me all about it. But first, let's get this stuff into the house. Lassie, did you have something to do with this? Lassie. He must have been in the back of the pickup all the time his owner was looking for him. I better call Calverton right away and tell him. Get me the general store, would you please? Well, oh, Mr. Pike, is the owner of that dog still there? Captain Sean Kennedy, and he's at the sheriff's office. Thank you. Where's your father? Where's Martin? I'm Mrs. Martin. Oh, how do you do? Uh, Mr. Martin's out in the field. I warned him if anything happened to my dog, give me that, please, would you? But nothing's happened to your dog. How do we know he hasn't got a chill? Give me another one, please, well, would you? Sit up, sit up, sit up, boy. Up. I've got to get him someplace where it's warmer. Where's the kitchen, please? Oh, this way. Gee, Mom. He's all right, isn't he? Well, at least he's dry. Oh, but well, then maybe I can turn off my oven. Well, one can only hope that he hasn't been exposed to anything else. Oh, incidentally, your dog has had her inoculations, hasn't she? Well, of course. 
Yes, he may not be a blue ribbon winner, but I don't think you'll find a healthier dog anywhere. So yes, one can't be too careful, you know. Shannon is appearing in the show ring next week. He's got to be in tip-top form. Does he always work? Well, I get him as many engagements as I can, naturally. Does he ever have a vacation? He gets plenty of rest, young man. We seldom work more than eight hours a day. I mean, does he ever have any fun? Well, he's got his work cut out for him. He's kept in a strict routine. Maybe that's why he ran away. Um, Timmy, I'm sure that Captain Kennedy knows what's best for his dog. <clears throat> yes, thank you, Mrs. Martin. Now for a little discipline. All right, boy. Here, come here. Come here. Oh, no. Now. Now stay. Get up. Now stay. Lassie, shh. I, uh, I wonder if you'd mind taking your dog outside until I'm finished here, hmm? Come on, Lassie. Thank you. Uh, I just don't understand it. Shannon has been told not to pay attention to distractions. A dog is a bad influence on him. Lassie isn't a bad influence on anybody. Timmy. All right, now, boy. Stay. 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 Oh, he is beautiful, isn't he? Yeah. Head up. All right, now. Sit, boy. Sit. Good boy. Well, I'm afraid we must be going now. Well, I'm certainly sorry if we've caused you any inconvenience. Oh, no, that's quite all right. You know, the way it was Shannon's fault, he should know better than that. Oh, I wonder if you'd be so kind as to show me the fastest way to the highway. Huh? Yes, Timmy, you, you point it out to Captain Kennedy, would you please? Okay. Well, thank you very much. Well, goodbye, Mrs. Martin. Goodbye. And thank you again. Thank you. Come on, I'll show you the road to take. Thank you. We go through our gate, about a mile down that road. And you come to a fork with three mailboxes. And there's a sign underneath the mailboxes. Mm, about a mile, you say, eh? Mm-hmm. And the sign points right towards the highway. I see. Well, thank you very much, young man. Now, what is this? I guess Lassie wants to give Shannon a present. Oh, no, you don't. That was Lassie's favorite bone. It's bad for his teeth. All right, come on, boy. Come on, Shannon. Come on, Shannon, come on. Why don't you give him the bone? Come on, Janet, come on. Honest. Even if he's never had a bone, he knows one when he sees it. And that's what he wants. I'm indebted to you for your advice, young man. But in future, I suggest that you look after your dog mm -hmm. and I look after mine. Good day. Come on, Janet, come on. Mm -hmm. You get it. No use, Lassie. <laughs>
Shannon! Timmy, I thought you'd never get here. Where's Lassie? I thought I saw her running this way when I came from the barn. Shut it! And he doesn't have much chance of catching them on foot. Come on, let's go. Dog got Shannon to run away, gang. That's what happened. Well, jump in. We'll get them back. Come on. Saved his life. Come on, Lassie. Come on, back girl. Come on. Lassie. All right, boy. Come on. Come on, Shannon. Come on. Come on, boy. Try this, Captain. Boy. Come on, you can have this if you want it. Now, come on and get it. Come on, Shannon. That's a boy. I don't know how to thank you for what your dog has done. That's all right, Captain Kennedy. Yes, I guess there's more to being a thoroughbred than just winning blue ribbons. Perhaps Timmy was right. All Shannon wanted to do was lead more of a dog's life. Yes, I, I suppose I have been a little too strict in Shannon. 
Maybe he should get a day off now and then. Tim, it'll be all right if Shannon and I visit you once in a while, huh? I'm sure Lassie'd like it. I think you would too. Yeah, we'll find him. Come on. Here, let's go. Come on. 